Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and in today's video we're going to be harvesting and showing you how we're going to preserve our broccoli. This video I almost wore my Keeping It Dutch t-shirt in honor of Dutch's pending loss in our broccoli growing challenge because it's hard to compete with broccoli like that guys. There's no way Dutch's broccoli, even though it's small right now, I don't think he's going to be able to beat me in the broccoli competition. But I wore a different shirt. Check this out. Working on a new design. Uh, you guys see me wear the YouTube logo shirt. It says Arms Family Homestead under it all the time. I'm just a little concerned about trying to sell those because of you know trademark issues. I don't want to end up in trouble with YouTube. So we uh, worked with a company called Bonfire. This is a uh, new design. Hope you guys like it. Uh, Bonfire is the same company that a lot of other YouTubers use. So hopefully within the next few days we'll have new t-shirts for sale because I get questions all the time about merchandise and things like that. So hopefully we'll have a new t-shirt design for you guys soon. Let me know what you think. You guys like this? Is this something you'd be interested in? Leave it in the comment section down below. Now I'm going to get my lovely wife out here and we're going to harvest this broccoli. Um, there's some giant heads of broccoli in here. So I'm really excited. Check them out. Okay, so I'm fixing to cut the main head of broccoli off. We're gonna cut it at the base down here. I don't wanna cut off any of these shoots. I don't wanna cut off my hand either. <laughs> Just like that. Whoop. Yay! It's quite the head of broccoli. It sure is. Might have to eat some later. So after we harvest the main head, It'll send up these side shoots like this right here, and you'll be able to get, you know, some smaller harvest of broccoli down the road. And in another week or two, you'll have more, more broccoli growing really fast. Those are awesome. Bigger, smaller than mine. <laughs> You're just going to try it fresh, huh? Mm-hmm. I mean, a little dry. I could use some ranch. Use some ranch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. My wife is eating the broccoli as fast as we can harvest it. Mm. But check this stuff out. Ooh. That looks amazing. It's a pretty good little broccoli harvest you got there, Mom. Mm -hmm. Looking amazing. I'm gonna take it in the house. We're gonna have some of it for lunch. Yep. Okay. Mm We're gonna blanch some and freeze it. I will have broccoli for months now. So we harvest our broccoli. This was just off of a few plants. Uh, maybe what probably 10 or 12 plants mm -hmm. um, so we're going to take this stuff in the house cut it all up we're just going to blanch it and uh, throw it in a little bag and freeze it but we'll probably have some for our lunch probably going to steam some up oh sorry probably going to steam some up for our lunch right yes let's go have a little taste test on the broccoli yeah, kind of multitasking here we're going to take a large pot put a little salt in it bring that up to a boil it's got actually got a little steaming pot but this isn't necessary. You can just put your broccoli straight in there. And like I said, we're kind of multitasking. So my beautiful wife here is working on lunch. But we're going to get this broccoli all washed up. Get it nice and clean. And get all the little florets cut off the broccoli heads. And we'll get it blanched up. So just want to do a good double rinse. Make sure we get any bugs out of them. Some nice cold water. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And we'll take it over to the other side. Soak it in that one. Rinse it a couple times. So tell me what you're working on for lunch there, woman. I don't know. You don't know? It's just a bunch of vegetables. Just a bunch of vegetables. Yep. And chicken. We're having a bunch of vegetables and chicken for lunch. I bet it's going to be good, though. Have you decided what's for lunch yet? Vegetables and chicken. Vegetables and chicken? Yep. Huh. Vegetables and chicken? Yep, pretty healthy. Gotcha. Okay, so we're cooking lunch and processing this broccoli. Whoop! I'm just breaking it down here a little bit. Maybe a little too much. So while my wife's got our chicken and vegetables all simmering over there cooking, I'm waiting on my pot so I can blanch my broccoli here, but I've 
got a little pot of water going and we're going to steam us a little broccoli for our lunch and uh, one thing you don't want to skip out on when you're harvesting your broccoli and processing is the stems just take a knife and peel the stem peels off real easy just start at the base and kind of peel that stem or the uh, skin back and uh, chop that up and throw it in with your broccoli because in my opinion the stem is the best tasting part on the nice and tender ones making some progress getting it all chopped up throw the stems in there with it guys don't waste the stems so we're going to take this put it over there in our boiling water i mean it's complicated stuff you know boiling a little broccoli here kind of steaming it there we go just gonna let that steam away for a few minutes not real sure why she's cooking the the chicken and the vegetables in the same skillet at the same time but she actually did start the chicken first the chicken should be about done by the time the vegetables are done but it's looking good okay. oh my God. Mm. is it better in the garden or in the kitchen in the kitchen mm. Are we going to get any on the plate or are you going to eat it all first? I'm going to eat it all. So it's time for the official taste tester to let us know what she thinks about our homegrown broccoli. Look how I look. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Mmm, so juicy. Nothing fancy. We just took that broccoli we harvested, brought it in the house, cleaned it up. Steamed it in a little pot of water, and now I did melt a little bit of butter. I'm talking like real butter, because we don't use that fake margarine, you know, all the crap in the tubs. It's a stick of butter. We buy real butter. Just a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it goes great with the rest of our vegetables. Just kind of cooked up in the skillet. Nothing fancy. Took a little olive oil. Cooked everything down. Mm, not olive oil. Oh, that's right. She used coconut oil. I'm sorry. Took a little coconut oil fried everything up. I mean, it's awesome. It's going to be amazing. Mom's got to go take pictures in a little while. She's got to do um, pictures for the high school track team. And then I'm going to be here in the kitchen blanching our broccoli. So stick around for that. It's going to be intense, exciting, amazing blanching broccoli. You believe that? She's off to work and leaves me here doing all the housewife work. Doing all the housewife doing Housewife chores in here, blanching broccoli and freezing it and stuff like that. Now, I'm just kidding, guys. I don't mind doing it. That's my job. That's what I do. I'm the one growing this stuff. She's got got to go take pictures, making some money, you know, because she's a photographer. But uh, we're going to get this broccoli blanched up here. I mean, look at this. Look at it. Oh, oh drop some. Guys, I'm telling you, that broccoli cooked fresh a while ago for lunch was unbelievably good. It was amazing. We eat a lot of frozen broccoli that we buy in the store, and I like it. But that stuff, fresh, steamed from the garden to plate in about 30, 45 minutes, I can't even begin to describe how good it was. You guys need to try to grow your own food. Just the taste, the, the taste of the food alone, whether you take aside the nutrition quality, nutrition value, the taste, the flavor changes. I can't, I can't even begin to explain it, guys. It's amazing. So let's get to blanching some broccoli. Water's up to a boil. I'm gonna put some broccoli in my little steamer pot here. And uh, blanching food is a very simple process. You're gonna wanna get it in that boiling water for one minute. And as soon as you pull it out of the boiling water, you dip it into ice water. So I've got my sink filled with ice water. Blanching it for one minute is gonna help kill any kind of bacteria, help it store in the freezer for longer. Um, the food, it kind of locks in the freshness, locks in those vitamins and minerals, kind of cooks it just a little bit. You're just flash cooking it. You're blanching it for one minute, at least with broccoli, we're just going to blanch it for one minute. Dip it in that ice water bath, it instantly stops the cooking process. If you don't dump it in, if you don't dump it in ice water, it'll continue cooking for several minutes and it'll break down a little bit too far. So we're not fully cooking this broccoli, we're just blanching it. Now, the temperature of this broccoli is going to lower the temperature of our boiling water. I may boil over. I may have too much water in the pot. We'll see. No. So we're going to want this to come back up to a rolling boil. And once it starts boiling, we'll start our timer for one minute. 
All right, it's been boiling for one minute. We're gonna get it out of here and put it straight over there in the ice bath. Cool it off a little bit so I don't waste all my nice cold ice water. Cool it off right there. And we're just going into the ice water. We want that broccoli to get as cold as possible as fast as we can just so it'll quit cooking. So I got all of my broccoli blanched and ready to go. The last process, or the last step in the process is gonna be packaging it up in my food saver. Um, I've had this little food saver for several years. I don't use it a lot, but it sure is handy during gardening season and when we're processing something like a deer. Now, you have to be careful, you know, something like broccoli with the food saver, I don't wanna vacuum seal it super tight because I don't wanna crush the broccoli, but I also don't want the freezer burn, so I'm just gonna be portioning this up into uh, a portion that, you know, my family will eat. Kids don't eat a lot of broccoli, so it's mostly just the wife and I right now. So we're gonna portion this up. And we're going to hit the moist button, vacuum and seal. Seal. Like I said, I didn't, lock it down super tight because I don't want to crush my broccoli. Well, there you have it. Six individually sealed packages of broccoli. Um, I'm gonna throw those in the freezer and they're gonna be amazing. We're still gonna be harvesting the broccoli that's in the garden because like I said, we have those side shoots that'll pop up. So we'll have broccoli to harvest for probably in the next couple weeks off of that and then we should have another succession of broccoli coming along if it makes it. So guys, like I said, get out there, grow something. Grow those vegetables, plant them, try, just try. See what you can do. You'll be amazed at the results when you get that harvest coming in. And blanching food, blanching things like broccoli is not complicated, super simple. If a little hillbilly kid like me can manage to do all this stuff, I know you can too. So guys, thanks for watching. That's all we've got for today. Obviously the wife's gone. She had to go work for a little while, make a little money for us. Anyways, guys, that broccoli is amazing. Dutch doesn't stand a chance in the competition. So there's my uh, broccoli entry into Dutch and I's, you know, wannabe fake broccoli competition. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, uh, leave me a comment down in the comment section below if you uh, agree with me on the difference in the taste in the vegetables. If you've grown this stuff and ate it and compared it to what you can uh, grow in the grocery store, or not grow, compared it to what you eat in the grocery store, let me know the taste difference. Let me know what you think about that. That way everybody can chime in, people read the comments and see. Maybe you know one of your comments will be what helps somebody get that enthusiasm to go out and grow their own. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.